Hello friends, it's Brittany here. You can tell where I am in our hummingbird classroom. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for this special gathering. We are going to share the lesson of washing a leaf of a plant. Do you remember that lesson? Yes, well, if you'd like to join me, you can find a house plant in your house that needs some cleaning and you can bring it over here where you're gonna do your washing. I've chosen to be at a table and if you have an apron, you can put that on. Do you remember all of our works, they always had an apron. So if you have one at home, you can put it on. If not, that's okay too. So the next step in class, we always use an underlay. So you might have something like this at your house, a placemat, or maybe even just a kitchen towel, something that you can put underneath the plant. So if it, if it gets a little wet from the water that we're gonna be using, um, that you can keep your space as tidy as possible. So I'm gonna put the underlay here under the plant. Do you all remember this plant, the mother's-in-law tongue? The next thing, you can find yourself a little cup at your house that might look something like this. It's okay if it's not exactly like this, but any little type of cup, maybe even has a little curved part right here, so you can carefully pour some water. So I just filled this up with water, so this is ready to go. The next item we have is a little dish. Any kind of dish will work. Just a small little dish or a small little plate. And the next item we'll use, do you remember what's in here? So inside, cotton balls. Okay, so cotton balls. And we are all ready. So we'll first take our cotton ball, clean cotton ball. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and I'm gonna put it onto the dish. Just a little bit, remember? And then I'll take my clean cotton ball, dip it into the water. Oh, I feel it, it's wet. And now I'm gonna start with one leaf. I'm gonna begin to wash the leaf of the plant. Remember when our plants get dusty, it makes it a little more difficult for the plant to breathe. So when we wash it, it helps it breathe. And absorb that nutrients from the sun. That one's clean and I'm gonna move on. My cotton ball isn't too dirty. So I'm gonna move on to the next plant leaf. Uh-huh. And I can keep actually using this cotton ball. I'm gonna move on to the next leaf. All sides of it. Okay. Now, this cotton ball is a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna set it in my basket so that I can put that in the garbage after. And then I'll be ready to take my next cotton ball, dip it in the water, 
and continue to clean all the leaves on this plant. This plant has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves for me to clean. I'm going to clean all of them. <laughs> well, friends, once your plant, all the leaves are cleaned, we'll begin to clean up our work. So, the first step, we'll take our water, and if there's any water in your dish, you can take one at a time over to the sink and dump it out. We'll close up our cotton ball container and put that back where it belongs. And if you'd like, after you put these cotton balls into the trash, maybe you wanna keep all your items for leaf washing together in a little basket, just like in our classroom. We'll move the underlay. Do you remember how we roll the underlay just like a rug? Okay. And the apron. Rolling that. And now our little basket is ready for us the next time we would like to clean the leaf of a plant. Thanks for joining me, friends. Take a moment now, take a big breath in. Hmm, it's been really lovely to be with you. Thank you. And begin to think about your next work. So when you have an idea and everything's cleaned up, Put your hand on your head and you can choose your next work. Thanks for joining me. See you again.